To find the distance between two given points on a number line, all we need to do is find the absolute value of the difference between those numbers. And recall that difference indicates subtraction. So in this first example, we have the difference or the distance between 6 and 15 on the number line. So that means we're looking for the absolute value of the difference between 6 and 15. 6 minus 15 is negative 9. And the absolute value of negative 9 is 9. Therefore, it's 9 hops or 9 steps between 6 and 15 on the number line. Now we have negative 5 and 8, so we have the absolute value of negative 5 minus 8, so the difference between negative 5 and 8. That gives us the absolute value of negative 13, and the absolute value of negative 13 is. 13. So again, it's 13 steps from negative 5 across to 8 on the number line. And then last, we have the absolute value of negative 3 minus negative 12. Subtracting a negative is adding. So we have negative 3 plus 12. That gives us 9. And the absolute value of 9, if my pen ever catches up with me here, absolute value of 9. Wow, a slow pen. It is 9. So it's 9 steps between negative 3 and negative 12 on the number line. We'd be starting at negative 3 and hopping backward until we got to negative 12. To solve these basic absolute value equations, all we need to do is find numbers x can be. Now, since the absolute value of a positive or a negative number is going to be a positive answer, that tells us that really we have two possibilities here. x could either be 3, since the absolute value of 3 is 3, or x could be negative 3, because the absolute value of negative 3 is also 3. So that tells us that x could be the set that includes negative 3 or 3. Now here we have x is, the absolute value of x is equal to 10, so that tells us that x could be the set that includes negative 10 or positive 10. Either of those two numbers, the absolute value would be 10.